Hi, Andrew here. So last week we tested Sig Sauer 357 Magnum 125 grain V crown out of a four inch revolver and eh, it didn't do so great. If you haven't seen that, maybe go back and watch that to put this in a little bit better perspective. But the cliff notes of that one is that <laughs> the performance was not great. However, a carbine can often take a not so great load and turn it into something pretty spectacular so I want to see what happens when we shoot 357 Magnum 125 grain V crown from a 16 inch Rossi M92. We're going to shoot it into bare gel as well as through four layers of denim to simulate heavy clothing. Let's head out to the range and take a look. Okay, so first of all, in the bare gel, the penetration was substantially less than it was in the bare gel with the revolver. In fact, it almost didn't pass. <laughs> it was just barely over that 12 inch minimum. So big expansion, short neck, it really did a very good job. And of course, 1700 feet per second is really moving. Now, it's not as fast as I'd like to see for a 125 grain 357 Magnum from a 16 inch barrel. They can go a lot faster and they usually do. This load is just a little lukewarm. I wouldn't say it's soft, it's just not nuclear. <laughs> but let's see how this does against heavy clothing. Okay, so against heavy clothing, even better. Now we're kind of getting closer to that penetration figure that we saw in bear gel from the revolver, but it's still, this is an excellent, almost perfect penetration figure. It's under the 18 inch maximum, it's over the 12 inch minimum by a good margin at both ends. So just about ideal. You can even see the little plug of denim still left in the middle of the bullet. This is actually perfect. Uh, there really isn't anything else left to be desired. So the takeaway here is that while SIG <laughs> seems to load some kind of weak sauce for 357 Magnum and their V-Crown isn't really the best bullet out there, a 16-inch carbine can take kind of a meh load and turn it into something pretty spectacular. But wait, there's more. This is moving along pretty well and I think it has a pretty decent chance of getting through pistol rated armor. So let's see how this same load out of the same barrel length does against level 3A pistol rated armor from Lightweight Armor Solutions. All right. Uh, first of all, bear in mind, this armor is not intended to protect against this threat. <laughs> so it's no indictment against the armor. Of course, it does what it's designed to do. I've established that in other tests on this channel and on the chopping block. But <laughs> it does speak to the capabilities of 357 Magnum when fired from a 16 inch carbine. And that's pretty impressive. If you disagree, if you want to tell me about how wicked awesome Sig Sauer is and how I've got it all wrong, or if you just want to talk about how great The Last Jedi was, leave a comment below. I always like to hear your input and we're always looking to do things better. If you have the time, please support our sponsors. Head on over to ProxyBid's website and take a look at their auctions. Supporting our sponsors supports us. And if you like watching good content like this, help us help you. <laughs> of course, like and share and subscribe because that helps the channel too. As always, have a great day.